Hello everyone, welcome back to our weekly modern tournament. It's called More Than Modern. My name is Mick. I'm one of your hosts alongside the suit. This is James Church Morley. Round three. And uh, special guest. The scrub, special, special guest. The yeah, the scrub. Hey, close the door. Close the... Extra special guest. Yeah, ex- yeah, ex- providing uh, quote unquote expert analysis. Danny Seed. <laughs> uh, probably like LSV when he like, doesn't like top me the photo. Uh, oh really? Are you? <laughs> no, I mean, you I, do, I mean, you do so. wear glasses. Yeah, and you do play magic, so I guess there are some similarities. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and uh, I think uh, LSV like let himself go a little bit like recently. So, Did he? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, he's he's big now. He's big now. He used to be like. So before he started the streaming, or uh, not the streaming stuff, but like becoming like a permanent on the on the coverage team, like he was like kind of big. And then he got like, you know, there was like two, three years yeah, that he was like really in shape. Yeah, I'm doing a diet for the Invitational. Oh, whoa, whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa. <laughs> and then, and then now he's like, let, let go a little bit. It's fine. So, but just, that, that, that's, like, I it's a good shape. I understand. But, yeah. I understand that. The, the rigors of modern day life, you know, mm-hmm. so much good food. You want to eat all <coughs> of the sugar. I'm, Anyway, in the future, we have like David playing, uh, he's playing Madu Power Mentor. A deck is picking out in modern recently. Yeah, it's, it's quite interesting. Like, mod- like, you wouldn't think that Pyromancer would be. In a non blue shell. Yeah, in a, yeah, belongs in a non blue shell, but it does. Somehow it does. It's, um, that, we talked about this before on the stream, like, how in theory it's, you know, a, a good card. You know, it can generate so much incremental yeah. advantage. In reality, there aren't the cheap spells available to like no. leverage it effectively not anymore i mean yeah like, you've lost uh you've lost uh what's that the uh taxi and probe taxi and probe yeah and that you know gut shot gut shot isn't as strong anymore like you don't have yeah. you know people are stopping yeah people are not playing the uh this this uh young yeah. fireman anymore yeah, you, so need, you, need, shots you need you need to go deep great. have noxious yeah. revival you know real get those all the free spells wow okay yeah. so uh so you can see a, a lingering souls block. Two uh, lingering souls. Two block lingering one, souls uh, on the on the ink moth nexus. Yep. And David, yeah, they, very rare to see David play. Uh, but nowadays, like you know, last week we saw David. Like David is from the old guard. Like if you if you played magic back in the day, right, you would know this guy. Yeah. He, like he is like the the number, I think number one or number two guys like sitting in uh, at Bishan and Mati, and uh, so he's. So he's one of the old guard. The reason why I'm saying that is because he's like he's one of the old judges. Yeah. Like he, he he's still a judge. He's still a judge. He's still a judge. I, uh, I, I don't know. Is he still a judge? Uh, well, L one. I guess uh, there's no like there's no code. Well, he, yeah. Code. I I believe David was like uh, L. You know, he's a. He's an L one. L one. Uh, yeah, yeah. But back in the day, like you didn't have a lot of the judges. This is not like today. It's like. Everywhere you you throw a stone into this audience, like four judges, judges. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, one or two judges. Uh, yeah. yeah, I'm a judge. You're a judge. We're all Everyone's watching people. Judge. Yeah, we're all watching people making snarky comments. We're all judging. <laughs> so, <laughs> whatever. So, some of us more qualified than others. Yeah, yeah. Clearly, <laughs> but you know, I wasn't trying to. <laughs> well, I didn't say it. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, blood moon here is gonna be so awesome. It stops a lot of things. It stops the morph. It stops the spire. Like yep. it shuts him down from anything. But it doesn't really matter at this point, unless he has a master of Ethereum, which does. Yeah. Uh, blood moon. Yep. Mountain. <laughs> Guess what? Everything's a mountain. You get a mountain. You get a mountain. <laughs> you a mountain. Uh, but they are still okay. So, uh, if you are curious, they are still uh lands or they are still artifacts. Sorry. Only the oh, becomes some- artifact. Oh, it becomes a mountain. Oh, it becomes a flying mountain. Yeah. Okay. Wait. So can he beat? Can he attack? Uh, it's a type changing, which is layer six and doesn't affect the. Uh, uh, yeah. Is David explaining that to him at the <laughs> moment? He used to say he used the words type change and layer six and. <laughs> Maybe. We know, you know, no, no. I think type changing. Wait, type changing is layer four. I forget. Man, I I always have to like reference the uh, the judge app. So many layers. Layer yeah. Layer. 
It's like a bit layer cake. Like we onion, always right? call it a layer cake, which is kind of dumb. But a throwback to a great indie British movie in the early two thousands. Was with, it? Uh, Dan- it? Had Daniel Craig in it as a as a gangster. It's called Layer Cake. It was, oh uh, wow! Yeah, okay. It was before before he became James Bond. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. Shout out to the British people watching who know Layer Cake. <laughs> The layers casting spell, so uh, yeah. type changing is layer four. Yeah. Layer four, yeah. So David looks to be in a pretty commanding position here. Yeah, I, I don't think you know. He's like, no, it's like his turn one, turn two base is very explosive. And Actually, no, it was explosive until he got denied by a fork move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twice, <laughs> twice. Yeah. So uh, and the problem is that Chris here just has you know, umpteen number of lands, uh, which are now mountains. Yeah. Yeah, go to Lightning Bolt, your guy, you know, you can't make it bigger than it already is. It's a very good deck, yeah, I like this deck. Cool. <laughs> it's a very cool deck, like, does it play uh, Bob's inside? I think it no, does, it right? Doesn't. Uh, no, it doesn't. So, basically the fundamentals of the deck, they play like Monstry Swiss Spear, um, he pl- they play Badland Revel, which is one of the key engines in his deck to gain back the card advantage. Right, okay. Uh, yeah. He plays Faithful Sloating to really cycle the unwanted lands or extra cards that you think you don't need. Okay. Uh, also, cool. So... Uh, yeah. So double. So we saw in response to the Inquisition of Kozak like a double galvanic blast in targeted face, at David yeah. by Chris. Uh, unfortunately, only deal, deals like two points of damage each. Yeah. Which well, it could have been dealing three points of damage each, but. Uh, and there it is. There's whoa, the Bedlam Reveler. 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 So let's let's we're talking about it. Let's uh, let's bring it up because it's quite a. Uh, yeah, sorry. Like the last time we were seen playing was in the Blue Eight Kill Fin deck, which was like. He got until he got banned by the Gitting Simple. Like Gitting Simple got banned. Well, in, well, it, that was in modern. I mean, in standard, it was like it was played quite, quite a bit. It was played the um, machine gun deck. The yeah, blue, gun. The blue red machine gun. The the Grixis machine gun deck. Man, I love that deck so much. Bedline Reveler is just an insanely powerful card. Like, I think a lot, a lot of people know he has flowers also. So like, yeah, you kind of skip over that second ability, especially since. Like it's it kind of gets stuck in between yeah. the two the abilities. Two more, the, yeah, yeah. And I, and I guess the thing as well is you probably want to cast it as the last card in your hand. Oh yeah. You want to be sure. like I'm going to play all my spells out, which is you know what we saw David do pretty much play all my spells mm-hmm. out and then refill my hand with three more cards. And then they just go. And, you know, and then I'm going to find <clears> some <throat> more cards, play some more spells, and then we're going to go around again. So fuel, you know, it is a powerful card. And it's very cheap. Like usually, you can cast it for two mana, especially if you build a deck, uh, just like David. Uh, you know, just spell, 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 and then you cast it for two. You know, refuel your hand and just keep going. Yeah, yeah. This this would have been good in the uh, the older modern decks, the blue red ones that had sort of like oh. dig through time and oh, treasure but cruising. Did, they were. And, uh, it, it didn't have Bedlam Reveler. Uh, was before, no, it, yeah, it was, it before, was before Bedlam Reveler was printed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but that, yeah. this would have been the excellent, the finishing card. Well, it did <laughs> have. I mean, there was a blue red, uh, like blue red Delver deck, which had uh, uh, Bedlam Reveler and uh, what's that? The the one that flips. Uh, oh, thing the ice, ice, yeah. So, you know, stranger things have happened. Yeah, stranger things have happened. Del- Delver, another card like uh, Young Pyromancer, who just doesn't seem to have much of a home in modern. At the moment, uh, well, Devil is a bit tough, but I think you know. Yeah, overlooked by Death Shadow, I guess. Yeah, yeah Death Shadow is just too good. But it, it's strange that they see play in the you know Legacy. They're more where it's more highly powered, but mm. they don't. They, there's not really a shelf in the modern at the moment. I guess just because Legacy has access to the you know the cheaper free spells that really f- that you want to fuel those and like the critical mass of cantrips for Delver like you want your ponders you want your period age you want your brainstorms yeah it's, uh, I mean and I guess you can't really play like Death Shadow like in modern in yeah one, one time one time puff to exile no, and no, then like not, all your Death Shadows die it's, it's, <laughs> it's not the puff it's a sword sword oh, sorry yeah, 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 yeah. Plow, yeah. One, one plow and then all your Death Shadows die no, but, you know when Death Shadow was like the, when Death, Death Shadow was a combo deck like people well, the blue white control actually playing Condemn so at the oh, last yeah. Last year, GP... Eh, two, two years ago, uh-huh. GP Melbourne. Like, I saw uh, Death Shadow is going to win. Then I got like, I, I condemn your Death Shadow. Then I was like, oh, one dies. Then, no, no, both no, die. No, both yeah. die. <laughs> no, all die. Uh, why? Why is life so, so I've, I've already cycled three street rapes. I've got now. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing about Death Shadow that it just... He has, like, very little creatures. And that's, that's the... Yeah, two little threats. And, uh, you know, it's very e- easy to get rid of the threats. Uh, in I mean in uh, legacy it's you know in legacy there's a lot of removal uh, there's a lot of uh, uh, permission magic 
So it's a lot easier to get rid of threats. So you want your threats to be like highly, highly efficient. And Death Shadow, you know, once once you're behind on the game, when you start casting a Death Shadow, like you're you're still behind in the game. You will oh, you will still be there. Okay. So here we go. So three cards on turn one. Not, not pretty, pretty, pretty slow. Yeah. yeah Spire I'm, of Industry, I'm, Spring Leaf Drum, Mox Opal. He's playing what? Oh, football. Probably off. Football. Uh. Probably <laughs> off. <laughs> Not again. No, it's quite tilting because like um Eugene. There's, so basically the guy who played the Mario Parameter, he's doing very well. Uh. So like Eugene met this guy three times on MGGO. <coughs> and he was like, oh, I turn one Mem Knight, signal pass, pass the turn with the land. Uh, and then football, football, yeah. Like, the tempo just gone. <laughs> and then a... Uh, oh gosh, sorry, but, so push is... So, Probably the best card that uh, David could have drawn there. Yeah. So swing in with the Pyromancer Surf one. Just assumes that the Ravenger isn't blocking. <laughs> Young Pyromancer. Yeah, and plays the Pyromancer. Right, Pyromancer and pass the turn. Okay, so uh, if... Get that Volt yeah. Scourge out of the lands. Uh, if David <laughs> here... Uh, uh, sorry, if Chris here just makes a mistake and trying to put all the counters on Volt Scourge, like he's going to get a rude awakening next turn. With Kodakans come out. Yeah, K command is oh man, K command is bad. It's probably like one of the worst cut affinity really wants us to see. Yeah, besides it's that. such it's like two for one, like maximum two for one, man. Oh wow! Okay. All right. So. Oh wow! Okay. Girapu either great wow. that, uh able to get rid of the. Let's uh, let, let's let's bring this up on the screen because this is sort of the unloved affinity sort of sideboard card <laughs> you know <laughs> tap two are art untapped artifacts you control deal one damage target creature or player yeah but it's that, good because this deck doesn't really have any solutions to the enchantment you only have solutions to the artifact and like having a dark steel still there on play it will just be a land um an artifact uh, a land that deals damage yeah over, over a period of time yeah okay so I'll let it die put it on yeah Volskirch, fatal push Gonna get you in for three. Just passes the turn. Uh, David here. Well, that that would have been more awesome if you, like tried to terminate, but uh, because ah, uh, but he doesn't have a terminate. Yeah, that would have been better if it were terminate or Colgan's command, cause uh, man, the amount of value you get out of that would be Not insane. Even the the right here is slow, sl slowing David down a lot. So I was like, yeah. Be a bit so, tough. so there's not really much that David has in his deck that can deal with the ex-champion. No, I don't think you so. Know, what if has Metacraft has protection from wow everything? Okay. Is that uh, yeah protection from colors? Protection from colors, yeah. That would have been like really, really, really backbreaking because of the uh, the yeah the 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 cranial the plating cranial yeah. yeah that that uh, you know Inquisition because that came at a very very. But, but David still needs to find an article for the ex champion, presumably. Because he can go by the area of the green source. That's that's fast enough. He he does have to stop the stop find a way to slow down the damage. Like stop the uh, burst damage like cranial plating. And he's got I mean like uh what's what's that? The the one that makes you sacrifice a creature and you take two damage? Uh, a diabolic? No, not it's not edict. No, no, no. It? Yeah, it's a that it's a edict effect, but then it's oh, it's guest verdict, is it not? Is no, no, no. It's the Mardu. It's the Mardu colored instant. Crackling oh, doom. Crackling, crackling doom. doom. That's yeah, the one. There we yeah. go. Crackling so doom. Crackling doom is a. Um, let's let's bring up crackling doom. It's a. Oh, I, I hate the card. Standard. standard standard all star. Yeah. Crackling doom and uh, goblin dark dwellers to bring oh, your right, crackling yeah, doom yeah, back. Doom. And then remove everything of yours. Whoa, okay. Yeah, lots this one, lots this of one flyers. One, like the, the yeah. Flyers, the one yeah, but you know, Chris is just going to shoot them all down. Like this turn, ping, 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 you know, yeah. shoot. Yeah. Shoot your flyers down. Shoot and you, your flyers and you know, down. Yeah, and you know, while, while David, you know, can try and race the ex champion, there is a tension as well with Chris just being able to permanently tap his artifacts to deal damage I mean, every I turn. Like, you know, is, like, quite fate, quite yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. It's I mean, it's going to be fatal. <laughs> all right. Uh, gonna try to get rid of your monastery spear here, probably. But I'm pretty sure David did not expect the integrate. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't see. You know, there's 
uh, you know, I don't know if David brought in Artifact Head. Hey, hey. You don't really need Artifact Head. You need like... Uh, sorry, uh, Enchantment Head. Enchantment Head, yeah. yeah. Uh, I, assume, I assume he bought in Artifact Head again. I... Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, it seems, you know, a, t- a tough spot for David now where yeah. he can play Lingering Souls, but they're just going to be shot yeah, down. Shot down yeah. Alright, I'm gonna try swinging with everyone. Just block one and shoot the rest down. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, look at that. Shh. Yeah, managing life total pretty well. And uh, yeah, I don't think David is like drawing anything of uh, yeah, of, of any consequence. Eh? Yeah, finally beat you for two. Mm? <laughs> Yep, so terminate on the Ornithopter and then in response Chris taps the Ornithopter and the Dark Steel, Citadel Steel 1 damage to David. Is he cool. holding like burns just to clock him down to nine? Okay, so what I think uh, David is just looking for, like he's trying to... So right now, just push up the board such that, you know, Chris has to deal with the board. Otherwise, he's going to, you know, be facing a, a faster clock. But David is probably trying to find like Bolt Bolt you know, uh, bolt, bolt, fork, bolt, or something like that, and just a series of burns that I could just like burn your face with. Yeah, so uh, here you go. So, Colligan's command. Yeah, destroy target artifact, artifact. and then deal to, to you. So, he, he basically just wants. I, I might actually bring back a creature, like bring back a young biomancer, hoping to clock, but. No, but the gear pool in the grey is just. Just shoots it down, yeah. 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 He's gonna get rid of it. So it's at seven. So it's bolting. So okay, lightning bolt go to five. Five. Fog bolt bolt. Fog bolt and lightning bolt. There's a lightning bolt. There's one. Okay. okay. Wow. So. So that's six. Yeah. Six. Five. Five. And then attack for two of the. Not enough. Unless he's got another uh, galvanic blast. Not enough yet. That's another company, but it's ten, right? No. Yeah, oh, there's okay, the Galvanic so Blast. Yeah. Blast. Okay. So, wow, game three. Uh, yeah, I mean that's what David was looking for. And the reason why he was casting all those uh lingering souls is that, you know, he's just trying to prevent damage uh to yeah, to, to his face. But now David gets to go first, so maybe that will change things. Who knows? Yeah. And it, and it felt like the uh the Gear up at Grid was the turning point there. The second yeah, he, the the, second the he landed just, that, yeah. Was like, yeah and he and just, then David was like, yeah. Man. But I don't see David looking, uh, you know, reaching out for his sideboard. So. Left his disenchants at home <sighs> today. God damn. Well, it's, it's interesting, I mean. But you wear and tear on disenchant, man. But if you're it, playing red and white, you, you play, play wear and tear. Play wear and tear? Yeah. Well, the white is more of a splash for the Lingering Souls. Yeah. The lightning helixes. Yeah, but you can, you know, he's got so many, he got so many fetch lands. You definitely can bring it up because because you th- you think you know think about sideboarding in this deck. Is he playing a Stony Silence? Oh yeah. Prob- he's probably playing Stony Silence against you, but he no, doesn't Stony like. W- doesn't really yeah. Play. No, no, no. I know, but I'm saying, what else does he have in terms of against this deck? He probably doesn't have like an enchantment removal. Because wear tear, wear tear. But, come on, well, people. But then why would you play wear and tear and Stony Silence? Maybe Shining no, Street? don't play Stony Silence. <laughs> so you don't play, play Wear and Tear, okay, yeah. Okay. Because Wear and Tear like, also triggers prowess, just saying. It's, uh, uh, it is more, you know, it is more efficient when you get when you get rid of uh, artifacts. It's more versatile yeah. because you get rid of artifacts and, and, and enchantments. So, yeah. Alright, that was relatively slow start. Wow, his hand is not not good. Uh, so is not good so at Volt, all. Volt Scourge, Ornithopter, yeah, just... Mox Opal. <laughs> and Chris's hand is pretty good. Uh, it's alright. Is he. Yeah, Mem Knight. Is he playing. Is he gonna go like all in? So he's still, he's still got the Mox Opal as well, you know, for one, one additional. Yeah. Is he going. No, he's not. He's you know, passed back. So David. No, no, Mem Knight though. Yeah, so David. Is this a football? And four bolt here would be so annoying. Yeah, get that mem night, get that vault scourge. 
Alright, got the Madu lens going. See, I mean, like, you could just easily, so easily look for white in this deck. You know, it doesn't require so many. Yeah, th I mean, if you're playing Sacred Foundry, the Bloodstained Mire oh, gets you. Alright. So there's a collective brutality or just on one mode, which is minus two, minus two on the Volt Scourge. Mm -hmm. Memnite -like comes in for one, passes it back. Oh man, looting is a good card to have, but uh, obviously not going to do it here. He has the Collector's Command, which is going to buy him a lot of tempo this turn. Jeez, oh, oh, okay, he chooses not to. Oh. Okay, come on, go get rid of those two creatures. Oh, did he have another K-Command? Yeah, he does, yeah. K-Command. Oh, wow. wow. And, you know, he's lost Metalcraft, by the way. Nope. No, no, nope. no, it's back. It's back. <laughs> it's back. It's a what happened if he kick command and he selects destroy artifact? No, he can't do it at the same at the same time. So yeah. Well, but double kick command is is pretty strong. <coughs> but if he's on the back foot, uh, Inquisition. Oh. Inquisition, galvanic blast to the face in response. Deal full uh, damage to you. I think maybe Chris might. Chris might edge out the win here, and uh, well, it should it should be fourth should be point of damage. Right? Yeah, it should be eight. Okay. Mm. Faithless yeah. looting. Don't do this guy too well. That uh, fatal push here not going to be. So very double useful. bedlam reveler goes to the graveyard. And I feel like he's he's tapped his lands wrong there. He wanted to keep the black up for fatal push. Well, he didn't think he was. Yeah, he didn't think he'd draw the, it. Yeah, the fatal push anyway. So, oh, wow. So, yeah, I mean, like, black for Inquisition, and then, uh... Yep. So, down to four. Attack with the ne Blink Moth Nexus. Yeah, I think it's going to be, it's going to be a bit tough for... For uh, David get I felt like it was too hasty if the Kodagans command. Uh, I felt like the second Kodagans command I felt it was too hasty. Go have waited. Wow, so he's going to play Bedlam so, Reveler number three. And he's going to discard his hand, which. So he needs to discard his hand. Yeah, where, he needs to discard a hand. Yeah, first. so you discard your hand, yeah. Yep. So discard the Terminate and the Fatal Push. And then, yeah. And then draw three new cards. So this is a, this is a, a blocker. You can't block the X champion. Well, you can't block the X champion anyway. Uh, and you know, Chris might have cranial plating. Wow, well, that's, that's it. Yeah. That's yeah. <coughs> that's a good top deck. And uh, that's the game. They, uh, Chris here takes it two games to one. Congrats. Very good. Very a quick. Nice. A comeback. I think I think it went downhill due to the eighth grade. Like yeah, the eighth grade was like that. That game, that second game was just. Either grid dominated the second game, and David was like one draw away from just uh you know take getting that win there. But uh, that second game was close. This third game, I think I don't know. David like I, I kept the a very sketching was, hand. I felt the, no, I felt the key command was too. The second one was too fast. Like he could have waited. He could have waited and did an end step, take a few damage. Okay, yeah. I'm going to get rid of your mocks open and this. And then next turn, okay, go. Because if he know. does it on his like on 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 Chris end step, he. He and then he can get rid of the uh, uh, He could have a window to yeah. get rid of the S champion. Maybe, maybe. Anyway. Yeah. Uh we're getting out of here. Thanks for joining <laughs> us. Uh remember you can find you can find us on the stream, twitch.tv slash grey ogre games every Tuesdays and Wednesdays, eight PM Singapore time. Uh Fridays if you like that Final Fantasy and this weekend is the L C Q. Twenty first of January. Do join us for the uh the invitationals, Danny, you'll be playing. Yeah. I will not be drafting you. Sorry. It's okay. Uh, my, <laughs> my horse is always still going to be like. But but, but you you lost the, this time round. Like yeah. I lost this time round, but the first two times I got like I picked out the winner. The number my first picks were the winners, by the way. So. But surprisingly, yeah, no, this no. time like none of you picked the winners. <coughs> like, yeah, you. of course, because I didn't pick the winners. Nobody else will pick the winner. Uh. Alfield was close. 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 
Oh yeah, uh, he said the word tear. Yeah, so I guess it makes sense. Okay, so he's got he has got the wear and tear. All right, wear and tear versus Stony sorry, Silence. Di- yeah, sorry, David. Just need to never draw. Okay. Oh, and the thing about David is that uh, he actually keeps a, a favorable sideboard. Ah, right, right, yeah. No, Vero Push, I think, should be sideboard. Because you don't want to draw it. It gets like many fighting Tron, like, wow. Yeah, Vero it's Pushers. a dead card. Super dead card. Okay. Uh, what else were we supposed to talk about? Oh, yeah. Uh, YouTube.com slash Games. And uh, do go down to our website, GreyOkerGames.com, to find out more about the seasonal qualifiers, all the uh, invitationals, everything of that stuff. Okay. We're going to do Call It A Night. Thanks for joining us. See you guys next week. Bye-bye.